Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Emily's Deals and Steals. Happy Tuesday. I am going to go to Walgreens and CVS today. Usually I like to go on Mondays, but yesterday I didn't go because it was kind of late once I could, so I'm doing it today. So in Walgreens, I'm gonna do a spend 20, get $5 back in Walgreens cash scenario. So hopefully that all goes okay. Um, there's a few deals I don't know if I'm gonna get. We'll see when I go in the store. Let's go into Walgreens and get these deals. The first item I'm gonna pick up is this Dial Clean and Gentle. It's $3.49. There's a dollar coupon making it $2.49. And we're getting a $1.50 on Ibotta making it only 99 cents. The next thing we're picking up is three Oral-B toothbrushes. There's a five off of three digital coupons. So you're gonna pay $7, get a $4 register reward and $3 back on Ibotta, making them completely free. The next item I'm picking up is this Scott toilet paper, the 12 count. It's $5. There's a there's a $1.25 IBC coupon. And then I have this principal coupons from scottbrand.com. So after that, my total will be $3. But you have to remember that $1.25 does not count towards the $20 threshold I have to spend, so I have to go grab one more product. The last item we're picking up is two Truvia sweeteners. They're buy one, get one free, but they're also $2.99 until April 24th. So I'm gonna grab two of these. There's a $1.50 coupon, so you're gonna pay $1.50 for both of them, but then get $3 back on Ibotta, making these a $1.50 moneymaker. Really good deal, go pick them up. All right, everyone, I'm back in the car. My transaction went flawless. Every single digital coupon came off. My paper coupon scanned, everything went well. I got my $5 back in Walgreens cash, as you can see right there. I got that back and I got my $4 register reward back. So after tax, I paid $12.09 after all of my coupons came off. And I also used a register reward to lower my out of pocket. So I should have paid $16.09. Um, and I'll go over everything in a second. But out of pocket, I paid $12.09. And then I got $9 back from Walgreens. And then I got $4.50 back from Ibotta. Now, my Oral B rebate went away on Ibotta. It was there when I scanned it and I got in the car, it went away. So I'm gonna contact Ibotta and see if there's any way I can get that back. Probably not, but I'm still gonna try because that would have been $3, which would have made my entire haul money maker. but instead it's not. But even if I don't get it, it came out to be really good. So like I said, um, I paid $12.09 out of pocket. I should have paid $16.09. So I bought a Kit Kat for 88 cents that my register award would attach to. So technically I'm gonna say that my register award was for $3.18 because I got that candy bar. So 12.09 plus 3.18 is 15.21. So let's say my total is 15.21, right? I got $9 back from Walgreens, which made it 6.21. And I got $4.50 back for my Bada, which made all of it only $1.71, which includes tax, which is amazing. You take tax out, it literally comes to, it comes to less than 60 cents for everything, which again is awesome. It's amazing. Um, it will be a moneymaker if I can get that I bought a rebate or if it pops back up, hopefully it will. But all in all, this was an amazing haul. I got the dial. I got three toothbrushes. I got the, I got the Truvia, the Scott paper towel, and the 88 cent Kit Kat bar. All in all, I am super, super excited with this haul. Again, even if it's not a dollar seventy one for all of that is amazing. That's so good. Like I would pay that all day for just the toilet paper and everything else is basically free, which is kind of what I'm looking at it at, you know, like toilet paper was $1.70. Not bad. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, message me, leave a comment, anything like that. So today at CVS, I am not planning to get a lot of things. I know I said that last week, but like this week, it's like 
actually true. Um, I don't think CVS this week is super great if you don't have a lot of paper coupons, which I did buy the insert two weeks ago. So I have a couple that I am going to use, but there's not too many um, scenarios that I want to do that with all digital things like that. So we're going to see what I can do in there. Hopefully we'll get some good deals. We'll see when I walk around the store and see what other things, you know, I might come across. Um, but yeah, let's go get these deals. The first item I'm picking up is this Clairol hair color. I chose these two. I have a buy one get one free paper coupon and it's supposed to glitch with the digital coupon. I have a five off a of two. So if that glitches, it will be a $2 money maker. I have a $3 CRT off of any heartburn relief. So I'm gonna grab this. It's going to make it only 19 cents. For my spend 40 get 10 scenario, I'm going to pick up, I think only three of these, I might pick up six, but I'm gonna pick up the hair styling tools instead of the shampoo this week. They're three for 15, there's a $5 digital. And I also have a four for 18 hair care CRT, which I'm gonna pair with another pick deal. Up three more Pantene for my spend 40 get 10. So I'm gonna pick up three more of those. And then I'm also right back here, going to pick up the men's head and shoulders. I'm getting the full and thick. Um, these are two for 12. There's a $3 digital coupon that is going to come off and this will also apply to our four off of 18 hair care. Hi everyone. I am back in the car from CVS. So I did one big transaction just because I wanted to use up my extra bucks. And if I didn't do one big transaction, my extra bucks would have lowered to meet the threshold of a second transaction. And I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to lose money. So I did one big transaction um, after extra bucks and um, my CRTs and coupons, my total came to 377 before tax, 694 after tax. I had three bucks in tax today. Um, and I used a gift card to pay from the previous weeks when we got those cash cards, I used that so I didn't pay anything out of my pocket, which is the best feeling ever. So everything came off pretty well besides one CRT didn't come off. A four off of 18 hair care didn't come off. And I'm thinking maybe that's because I got the Pantene styling products instead of the shampoo and conditioner. But I'm not mad at that because I don't need any more Pantene shampoo and conditioner. I'd rather have the styling products for my hair. As you can see, it's crazy. Um, so I would rather have those. So I paid a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay because like I said, I got products I actually wanted instead of things that I didn't want. So after I add back in all my extra bucks, my total would have been $24.77, but I got back $14 in extra bucks. So my total after everything came to $10.77, which is not bad for all that it comes to like 97 cents a product, which again, I'm getting things I want to use head and shoulders. I don't get all the time. So I am pretty happy with that. There's, um, I didn't see any, I bought a rebates for anything, but there might be. So always check, save your receipts because something might pop up. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm super excited for this haul today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. I'll see you next time.